Hello guys, welcome to a fabulous wine tastic. It's a Thursday again, and I apologize, but yesterday was so hot where I am that I just could not get my head to film a video. And when it's really hot out, drinking wine isn't the best idea if you're outside or whatever. But today is a little cooler. I still have my AC going over in that vicinity. Maybe you can hear it, maybe you can't, I don't know. But we're gonna be pouring wine in our kitchen today because of the weird weather we're having. So let's grab a glass. Yes, my wine glasses do fit underneath my cabinets. If you guys haven't seen that cool little feature, I have that there. Yes, ma'am. So today's wine of choice is going to be another white wine. It's a Yellowtail Sauvignon Blanc. I did look up all of the lovely uh, flavors on this and there's no grapefruit in this one for some reason. So I can drink this particular one, but uh, the other ones I probably can't, but for some reason Yellowtail is like, nope, we're not going to add grapefruit, so you're good. So we're going to go ahead and pour some of this, and ooh, it smells very fragrant. Right off the top, it smells really fragrant. So let's pour that in here, a little bit in there. Look at that. Oh, wonderful. Put that over here. So, ooh, it smells sweet. Like, it literally has that sweet zing to it. Oh, I'm intrigued by this wine. Literally intrigued already. Yeah, it has a very subtle um, zing to it. Like it's there, but it's subtle if you smell it. Let's go give it, that's what give us a lovely whirl. And I'll try it. Ooh, okay. Um, that is a interesting Sauvignon Blanc. It's not too dry. It's a very subtle, sweet Sauvignon Blanc. I could have, what, so, um, all right, what are you, what citrus flavors? So it has crisp, refreshing, bursting with zingy passion flute and citrus flavors. So there's definitely like a lemon flavor in there for sure. I mean, maybe there's not, but I'm getting a taste of a bit, a bit, a bit of lemon. The passion fruit is what grabs my attention. I'm like, oh, I like that in my wine. Um, if there is grapefruit, I don't taste it whatsoever. Um, and the research I did definitely never said it had any grapefruit in there. So for sure, like this wine, um, Yellowtail, you never seem to disappoint. This is a solid good and it has Wine Spectator's Best Value 88 points. If you look on the bottle here, that's what it says. So they got an 88 point review on their, um, wine. Uh, yeah, Yellowtail added again with a fabulous choice. I honestly think Yellowtail is my go-to wine. It just seems like they have a really good variety of wines that are budget friendly and taste good. Now, obviously I have tried a lot of the other higher end wines than Yellowtail and they are good too, but yeah, these are, Yellowtail so far has never disappointed. The only Yellowtail I haven't liked, which was their Sangria mix. I like a Sangria. But I like it made a certain way and it wasn't made the way I normally would make it. So it was very strong and bold and I wasn't a fan of that. Uh, my friend made me a sangria and it had rum, brand no, brandy, brandy, excuse me, not rum, brandy, uh, pomegranates, honeydew, I think it was, a bunch of random fruits. It was amazing. I may have to make that on this channel because we have plenty of red wine to go around. So I think maybe I'll make that wine recipe on this channel at some point in the next few weeks, maybe. Actually, I'll be in Arizona when I, so yeah. Uh, two weeks down, two weeks to go, 14 days, and I'm in Arizona. So we'll have plenty of wine-tastic videos with Elizabeth to showcase. Um, but yeah, um, this was a good wine choice. I will definitely be finishing off a glass of this tonight. I'm gonna probably pair this with something, and I'm gonna show you guys what I pair it with. So, in my lovely fridge, I have a garlic and herb cheese spread. This is spreadable cheese spread by Presidente. And this is actually really fantastic if you mix it with the club crackers. So, if you guys are looking for a good snack with your wine, this is going to be a good combination. So, definitely try that for your uh, wine, um, wine-tasticness. Oh, and... Something else that I found in the store that's really handy are these to-go Laughing Cow Cheese dippers. 
these are super good. So if you're going to like a party or if you're going to the beach or something and you want to casually drink some wine, because technically I think drinking on the beach is illegal, but this would be a good good thing to bring with you when you go to the beach and drink and have some wine. Uh, this one, I believe, is just a plain Jane. Yeah, creamy white cheddar and pretzel sticks. So really good choice for uh, your wine choice. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, who packages these because you could literally just lose the packaging. Because look at this. It's flimsy packaging. So flimsy. I already lost one of my other ones on the floor somewhere. Yeah, so like really flimsy packaging. So laughing cow. Might want to have a bottom for this as well, just because you're not losing all your stuff. But yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this lovely video. Sorry it was on a Thursday again, not a Wednesday. But um, I will try to post on Wednesdays as much as I can. But it might be a Wednesday slash Thursday video postings on this channel now because I'm realizing how Wednesdays are getting chaotic for the summer. But uh, yeah, so either Wine Wednesday or Thirsty Thursday. That's what we're going to be doing from point forward. But mostly we'll try and do a Wine Wednesday. Sometimes a Thirsty Thursday. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Give me questions, suggestions for this channel. Um, and if you want to subscribe, please do. I love subscribers. And hit the bell for notifications if you want to see more content in your notifications of when I post a video. And that about set, wraps this all up for you guys. And I hope you have a fantastic Thursday. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.